the life of a mega nerd, baby. We doing things and we making it happen, right? From the trash 80 to a black Mercedes, no one can stop us now, cause we're keeping it nerdy, nice. What's up, YouTube? This is Chris with Sage Films, and uh, I've been having a lot of requests on Visual Basic tutorials, and I know I haven't done a tutorial in a while, so since I've had a lot of requests over the last little bit about Visual Basic tutorials, I'll just go ahead and do one of those today. So today, what I'll be doing is teaching you guys how to create a MP3 alarm clock in Visual Basic. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, you're going to insert five buttons, just lay them out as I did. Insert a label if you want to do like I did and put like a copyright at the bottom just in case somebody downloads your program. A combo box, a text box, and a Windows media player. And uh, two timers and an open file dialog box. Okay, so let's go ahead and get to the coding of this whole form here. So I double click on my start, and basically, this is what you'll enter into the start. You'll insert right here, and this will give the uh, time like that you want the alarm to go off and the actual time so you'll insert timer 2 dot enabled equals true if text box 1 dot text equals quotation marks 0 0 colon 0 0 colon 0 0 and you have in quotation marks then message box uh, parentheses quotation insert time quotation parentheses and if message box message box parentheses quotations alarm on quotations close parentheses and all of these will be in the uh, description don't worry about it. just pausing the video just go ahead and look over there on the side for the stop basically what we'll do timer 2 dot enabled equals false timer 1 dot enabled equals true message box parentheses quotations alarm off quotations in parentheses Okay, go to the show playlist, which is like where you choose the song. Combo box one dot visible equals true. And this is where your uh, file is going to show up inside here. Go to your high playlist, which is combo box dot one dot visible equals false. Okay, go ahead and go to the stop. Timer two dot enabled equals false, timer one dot enabled equals true, message block, alarm off. Now if I've already went over that, I'm sorry, but let's just go ahead and go over the browse, which is these five dots. Okay, now basically what this is, open file dialog dot one dot show dialog, uh, open parentheses, close parentheses. And that's pretty much it. Let's go to the timer, let's see if there's any coding. Okay, there is coding for timer one. Label one dot text equals time string and timer two this is a pretty long one if text box one dot text equals label one dot text then timer one dot enabled equals false ax windows media player one dot url equals combo box one dot selected item text box one dot clear open parentheses close parentheses end of statement Okay, now double click on the open file dialog. I'll see if there's anything. Okay, there is. For this, what you'll do is you'll insert for each track as string in open file dialog one dot file names, combo box one dot items dot add, parentheses track, close parentheses next. Okay. So that pretty much goes with the coding. So just take a minute to look at this and lay everything out the way that this looks. It's a pretty good layout I found. And uh, basically what I'll do now is just show you guys how it works. So I'm just going to debug this. And as you can see, I have a splash screen created for this. If you, if you want to know how to do that, just go to one of my other tutorials and it'll show you how. But as you can see right here, it has the actual time right here. And actually, I think I'm going to skip that. Yeah, it's a hidden box that I created that shows the actual time. So what you'll do is you'll just click here on the little browse. This is what the open file dialog does, is it'll open up the song that you want to play. So let's just go ahead and uh, select a song. Uh, let's see. Mm, let's do this. Right. And as you can see, you click the down arrow here, and it'll be right here. And you'll go to like up here, and you'll set when you want it to go off. 
So like this, it says 164702, set for 1647, set that for the 30, then click start, and it'll say alarm on. Now whenever it gets to 164730, then the music will go off, which is basically the alarm. So we'll just sit here and wait for that. And there you go, it starts playing. And that's pretty much how you create the alarm clock. Now I'm going to have to go, you'll say the alarm's off, so you got to make sure you click pause or stop. Okay, now what you need to do, just go ahead and close this out, stop the debug, and I'll show you guys the coding for this. If I can actually find it. Hold on just a second. There it is. Okay, so basically what this is, this is a label. Just take all the text out. And let's go into the coding. There's really no coding for that. Okay, here we go. Yeah, there is. Hold on. I'll do that. Alright, here's pretty much the coding for that. Label one dot text equals time of day. That's a pretty simple code. But that's what you do for that. And just make sure that when you go to this, highlight that right there. There it is. Make sure there's no text. That way it'll only show up when you pretty much debug the program. So uh, for all the people that were wanting me to do another visual visual basic tutorial, I hope this guy's this is pretty informative and pretty fun tutorial for you guys. You can use this for basically uh, just pretty it's a pretty cool thing to have in a computer. Plus it's a uh, something that you made. So, uh, if you guys want this download, leave a comment. I'll let you download this one that I made. Uh, pretty much, it's pretty co pretty cool uh, program you can create. But, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.